don't know what you're talking about. Hold on, I'm not. Well, we're about to go, so. Hello, and welcome to the family <gasps> roundtable. I would like to remind everyone, please remain on mute unless you are asking your question. No follow-up oh questions, so please. <laughs> we're going to start first with Christina from the Patricios. Hi, my name is Carter, and my name is Kennedy, and we're from the Um, My question is for all of you, and if you could film one of the scenes live action, which one would it be, and would you do your own stunts? I'll go first, 100%. The fight scenes where we're leading up to finding Big, uh, Big Bad Bernie, I think that was like the sickest thing ever. And I would love to do some karate moves, and I would do my own stunts, because I'm a G, like Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, great question. Um, I think that mine would be um, when when we're in the when we're in the van with uh, the mutants and we press on the brake yeah. and they're oh, flying yeah. through, and that's yeah. the first time that's we so really cute. reveal that we're not with the mutants or against them. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, for me, I think it would be the moment that's even in a trailer where you know it's the lob it up, lob it up with the watermelon yeah. and you know holding it over the head. I think I would want to do that for sure and. You know, I, I I do my own stunts. I don't know if I trust them, but you know, <laughs> I do it for sure. Nice. I love y'all's little masks. They're yeah, so yeah, cute. So cool. <laughs> They're adorable. But I, I guess mine would be just like the bowling scene that we have with Superfly, because I just want to bowl with Ice Cube and like Hannibal yeah. Burris and like <laughs> and like all the people that we've got on the cast. I feel like that would be yeah. fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So Great much. question. Yeah. Next, we have Ashley from Ashley and Co. Hey guys, thanks for taking time to chat with us today. Of Thank course. you. Thank it's you for having us. Talking. So I want to know what is your favorite thing about your character? And since this is the turtles, I have to know your favorite pizza topping too. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll start with me. I like Leo's. Um, I guess his discipline and his real his his love for ninjutsu. You know, he really takes his training seriously, and I think it's it's admirable that he has that uh, aspect of his personality. And favorite pizza, um, I'm gonna have to go pepperoni mushroom. I really like a pepperoni mushroom pizza. Uh, I love about my character how geeky and dorky is, and he's not afraid to be geeky and dorky. He's he's unlike his brothers. He's very like nerdy about certain things in anime and stuff like that, and I love that about him. And my favorite topping. Like sometimes I like a good veggie pizza with some ranch on it. Like maybe some peppers, some mushrooms, maybe some asparagus. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're getting crazy. It's a lot of vegetables. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I think I really do admire Raphael's loyalty. I, re I really think that no matter what goes on, he's always got his brother's back. So I, I really do appreciate that and, and admire that from Raph. And if I had to go, I mean, I'm a classic guy. It's either a pepperoni for me or... Actually, I eat a lot of chicken parm pizza, which a lot of people haven't heard of, but it's just chicken parm on pizza, like cut up. So it's, it's actually pretty good. Crazy. Yeah, uh, what I love about Mikey is his love for all living and non-living things and his curiosity for the world, you know, outside of the sewer. Um, and the favorite pizza topping, I'd probably say like sausage and applewood smoked bacon. Ooh, okay. And that's very important, the applewood smoked bacon, <laughs> for sure. I love it. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Next, we have Jana from Whiskey and Sunshine. Hey, so I'm here for the full vegetable pizza. I'm pretty sure I saw Ashley gagging when you were describing all of the toppings. Like asparagus. honestly, that was a lot of. I was too. Like, I was, that was too. A lot. <laughs> um, but were you guys fans of the original TV Mutant Turtles before getting cast? Um, like, or have you since sort of immersed yourself in the original shows and comics and games and whatnot? I think we all, I think we all kind of had an understanding of, of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know me and Shaman, we, we grew up on the 2012 series, I think a little bit of Micah too, but I mean, we were all pretty familiar with, with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in some way, shape or form coming into this. So that, that was definitely a big help. Yeah, I haven't actually watched any of the series or, or, or movies up to this point, but of course I'm familiar with the turtles. Everybody knows who they are. Like, they're iconic. They're these big monoliths of pop culture. So to be able to join a, a, a long-standing franchise like this, it's, it's really cool, man. And I feel very lucky to be a blue team leader, you know. Yeah. Next up, we have Cammie from the Mama Diaries. Hi, guys. 
So this movie, I'm really excited for it. I grew up with the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so it's a big dose of nostalgia for me. It's really awesome. Um, I know with voice acting that you usually record alone. However, I read that the four of you got to actually record together. Um, can you guys talk a little bit about that, how that was for you guys? I mean, it was super fun. Like, yeah. the ability to be able to perform in real time with my fellow turtle thespians, it was great. Um, it added a, uh, a lot of improv to the movie and very off-the-cuff moments. I mean, yeah, we had a great time recording yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Lots of yeah. fun. Lots of funny moments. All right, Thank next, you. next up, we have Kathy with Bell Air Mommy. Hi, thank you for being here. Kind of piggybacking off what Sammy said. Um, what was your favorite part of the voiceover process? And were any characters' personalities changed to fit your own personal style? Mm. Mm. I think that the whole process, it was just super warming, you know? It, it was something fresh. It's something that isn't done often in animation. So the fact that I had to do it and that we worked so well together, it was an amazing process. And I think something i added was just overall the teenage flair and flavor you know that you give to these turtles you know instead of adults trying to act like kids you know most of the time with all the previous versions um so i think i added that to the mikey i played nice yeah oh i think i, I think i added a little bit of well initially we were supposed to add a line about donnie being afraid of uh of flies, but they cut it out sadly. But that was kind of funny. That's Cause something because that, that's, that's something that I am actually. I have a serious phobia of flies. You're afraid of flies? Afraid yeah, of a lot flies. of people don't know this. It's Why are you afraid of flies? I don't know. Don't. Uh, there, it's like this whole conversation is making me. Oh, okay, we'll stop. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but yeah, but yeah, but they initially uh, there was a line in there, but sadly it was cut out. But, but yeah, I thought it was really cool that they they let me do that. Huh. Yeah. For uh, for me, there there was a lot of couple uh, off the cuff moments that that I would have that I kind of pulled from from my real life. Um, I mean, just trying to I was just really trying to add some like heart and humor into Raphael, just because like Raphael is always stereotyped as just such a hothead, and it's really hard for people to like relate to him. I feel like so just trying to give him a little more life, a little more personality, make him a little bit like me. So hopefully people will like him a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. No, people love Raph. What do you mean? I love. Yeah, Raph. but a lot of a lot of people. I I read so much that like people are like he needs to like chill out like, <laughs> he needs to all take the a chill time. Building. Like he needs he to just needs relax, to go on a vacation or something. Yeah. Yeah, he needs some time in Ibiza. Yeah. Really <laughs> <needs to>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next we have Robin from Mom the Magnificent. Hey guys, I can't wait to take my son to see this film. He's had about four different um, Ninja Turtle themed birthday parties over the years. So we're oh, that's excited. awesome, uh, man. I hope he enjoys the movie. Yeah, we can't wait. Um, so my question for you is, what was the audition process like for each of you, and what drew you to this project? Hmm. I think what drew me to this project was that Ninja Turtles are really cool yeah. and awesome. <laughs> like, being a part of a project like this, and especially something with so much history, and just like how cool they are like just conceptually teenage mutant ninja turtles like the those four words together make something that's that's really really cool to me uh but for the auditions i actually auditioned for donatello originally um i was trying out for that character and then dur during the casting process they wanted to see my take on leonardo so i went for that and that's what stuck and now i'm the blue one so i'm happy Thank God, because he's really talented. Thank God he didn't take my role. Um, <laughs> no. no, but uh, I auditioned for Donatello, and then they asked me to read for Mikey, and then they asked me to read for Donatello again for the chemistry read. And I'm super glad, again, that they asked me to do Donatello. One, because I love the character, and two, because, I mean, Shimon kills this Mikey character, like, to a T. Like, I love the, the character he really brought, like, he brought to life. Yeah, I mean, for, for me, the auditioning process was was pretty uh, pretty easy. I mean, I was only uh, I only read for Raphael. That, that was the only one. I, I did like one re uh, one one small read for it, and then then we went on the zooms, uh, which was like a table read, and this is where Seth and Jeff were mixing in a bunch of other people, not just us, um, other other people who were in the running for for the turtles, and mixing and matching and seeing what worked. And once the four of us got into a zoom call, everyone kind of knew like. 
all right, this is this is this is it. Like this is the group. Just creation. because like we were just already going off book, even just in our auditions, everyone was like, whoa, 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 like what is this? And and that was just that kind of spark that we brought. And I think that that's what really just led to to us moving into the studio and just continuing with what we've been doing all along. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, my process. Um, you know, usually with uh, voiceover auditions, it's just the voice, but with this one, it was an actual. We have to be on camera and you know actually have to do things and move and things like that so did the first audition did a second one um and then we were in a chemistry read group you know like he said like with a bunch of different other kids and stuff and then one of the groups was ours and then next thing you know we're doing a whole another thing in the booth and we're filming for two years and here we are in front of you guys amazing people yeah. I can tell you guys have great chemistry. So can't wait. Thank you very oh, much. Thanks. Next, we have Victor from Fan Dads. Hey guys, thank you very much for your time today. Um, I, I know each of you play a certain turtle, but after, even before you got your roles or after you finished the movie, was there like a certain turtle that resonated with you? Like you know, you know, I did get Michelangelo, but I'm more like Raphael or something <laughs> like that. I think, I think personally, I, I feel like the take that Shimon brought to Michelangelo, like, cause I didn't really like reside with the, the character of Michelangelo much prior, but, but the approach that he took, it was just so humorous and, and just really loose and funny and just really made me like the character of Michelangelo a lot, a lot more. And, and, and he's now like definitely one of my favorite characters, especially in this film and, and, and his character development and, and the appreciation that I had for him have definitely grown thanks to this guy. Yeah, dude, you do a great job. I'd say we all Mikey's like the fan favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody <laughs> loves Mikey. Everyone loves it's hard not to. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, for me, I guess my favorites growing up were Donatello and Leonardo, which is so funny that I was able to audition for both characters. But yeah, honestly, most of it for me was just their colors because I really liked blue when I was little. And uh, purple is still one of my favorite colors today. So it, it was it was a big part of my decision on which turtle was my favorite. Yeah, yeah. For me, um, I'd say it was again my favorite color was blue. So it was like Leo. But then I love Mikey's personality. But then it was like Leo was the leader. So it was like a mix between Mikey and Leo. So yeah. Yeah, I grew up loving Raphael because of the color of red. Obviously, favorite color of all time. Um, but yeah, it's it was definitely because like he was ripped. He was like, he was like this cool guy. Like he was a tank, right? Yeah. He was but shredded. I would say I would say now like the character I relate to the most is definitely Mikey or Leo, just because they're they're just cool and like no like no offense. So no I appreciate it. I'm yeah. chilling right now. Yeah. Also like I would say like like Leo's definitely the sexiest, and I'm definitely Ooh, the sexiest. What? Like, I'm what? So good looking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I would say I would say Mikey or Leo. Right. Cool, awesome. Thank you guys for your time. Thank, thank you. you so much. You. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, everyone. That concludes our roundtable. Please say your goodbyes and then exit the room. Thank you so thank much, you. everybody. Thank this you, was everyone. so fun. Bye. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Turtle thank power. So yeah. <laughs> Brady, we just want to say we love Mighty Ducks and we love the movie. Oh, oh, so thank you, thank you so that. much. I really appreciate it. It's nice talking thank to you guys. Congrats. Thanks, y'all. See, you, guys. See you, you later. Yeah. Dude, good I job. I forgot to sexy. I know. I don't have to. I can't. No, I can't. Please, bro, you were the.